I didn't even know if these gifts were going to be giveable. Hi there, it's me, Grammy Vulture. Do you remember my shoe shelf? I'll put a video link in the description box below, and I'll try to put it at the end of this video too. In my shoe shelf, I bought one piece of plywood. Before I went to the store, I drew this piece of that plywood was cut roughly into 12 by 12 pieces. It was a very end piece as well. I might use it too. You never know. We'll see. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at the end. Look at how beautiful the wood is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sand off all the sharp edges. See right here it's got some wood splintering. I'm going to sand that all smooth. I'm going to be making something amazing. Boys, boys, say hi. No? Just going to give them a good sand. It's nice. Some of these knots might need a little work. I did pay a lot of attention to the splintering edges and the corners of the boards to make sure they were nice and smooth. Okay, repeat. I'm sure you don't want to watch that all day. <laughs> Well, I guess it's break time. Anyway, after I finish sanding, I'm just going to wipe them off with a damp rag to get any dust that was left. Here they are on my table with lots of stuff underneath for handprint time. Look at that. They already look amazing, right? I just took painter's tape and placed it very carefully all the way around. I'm gonna remark it with a pencil because that, the permanent marker tip is really thick. See the difference in thickness? Inch and a half north and south, inch and a half east and west. I'm just going to use this yard stick. I'll go all the way across to my board. And I'm going to continue on going both ways. I have found that cutting each line all the way through is saving a lot more time than doing the squares one at a time. Oh, got to make sure all the sides are stuck down real good. And get the other one out from underneath. Try not to get the tape too wet. I don't want it to peel. I made sure all the brush strokes went in the opposite direction of the grain on this one. Pink, check. Blue, check. Green, check. Red. Wait a minute. This is not red. I'll make it red. Sponges on these are made for dabbing. I like the texture. I printed out this template. I have this app called Paint on my computer and I got all the way to Tube. Then I had to go back to just right. We're at cardboard. Mark north north so that it fits right. I just used rectangles on the paint app. This cardboard much thinner. Cut the inner part. The third square that is not painted and make that center stage. The top, at the corner of these two tiles in the center, dot here. I'm going to try to repeat this on all four boards. And to tape the center, just going to use my painter's tape. I'm going to try not to use too much paint so that it doesn't flood. Like that. I am going to let this completely dry before removing the stencil. I'm basically just slopping it on like syrup, going for the places that had the chips on the sides or corners to get it to fill in. Just really letting it get into those crevices. Basically making a coating on top. Okay, this one's got more since I got anxious because I was recording. Making sure it's coated and laying as flat as I can get it to lay so that I can get it to dry evenly. And that's it. I don't see any bubbles, so that's a plus plus. For all of them. Yeah, that one had a bubble. 
This is thick. This is going to get at least 24 hours dry time. Apply a thin coat, thin coat, thin coat, and allow this coat to dry for four hours. Thin coat, dry for four hours. if these gifts were going to be giveable because the dry time of the clear coat and the smell ugh. which one was your favorite i personally like the red color because red's my favorite color thanks for watching gotta go see you later love you bye mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.